What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Cancer, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free channel collective reading for Sign of Cancer. This covers an AP of Cancer, any aspects of your charts, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Venus, and your charts. So, for the basics, time is fluid, energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Free channel or card reading for Sign of Cancer. Um, I suggest um, everybody, you know, of course, you can take it or leave it, but I would highly suggest um, if you want more messages um, that possibly are applicable to your situation, I would suggest um, checking out your Sun, Moon, Rising, at least your Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node signs. Um, maybe you'll get a message or two in those signs, possibly. You don't have to, but um, if you want to. Um, thanks, and cross watchers are always welcome as well. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're at 13,015 subscribers, so thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel, you guys. Um, if you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess to Row 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash up, no Venmo. Very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Um, I do not um, publicly display your name if you choose to donate via PayPal, and I will not ask you for money. I will never ask you for money, and I will never ask you for a reading. For me to do a reading for you. People come to me for readings. So just to let you know, okay, um, I will never ask you for money. I will never come to you asking you for a reading. If somebody does and they're claiming they're me, please report, 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 report them because they are a scammer, spammer, and fodder. Just let everybody know, okay, because the channel's really growing and I just feel like I need to start making this very abundant, abundantly clear because there's tons of scammers and frauders and fakes and what have you, what have you out there, okay? Spirit messages you have signs of cancer. This is for a sign of cancer. Um, one message may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply. Only you know your story and situation, not anybody else. So you have to plug it in your own life how it resonates, okay? Okay. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. For real, for real, for real. Okay, so I did receive a channel message in as I was meditating on your energy for June of 2022. Um, the first one I heard hospitalization, and I heard for some it is a cancer, for some it's someone you're connected to, and I heard for some it's already happened, for some it's about to happen. So some kind of hospitalization energy, um, you plug it in how that resonates for you, cancer, if it does resonate um, for you. For some, it is you. Um, either that already has been hospitalized or is about to be hospitalized. For some, it's somebody you're connected to that's already been hospitalized or is about to be hospitalized. And for some, um, oh, yeah, hospitalization, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to. So you plug it in how it resonates, whether it's already happened or it's about to happen. Now, to me, that could be um, a scheduled inpatient S surgery S type situation um and you stay inpatient for a day or two or etc cetera, etc cetera. it could be a uh, birthing of a child or children um you or somebody you're connected to or it could be like a serious life-threatening illness uh whether it's you or somebody you're connected to where you go to the emergency room and boom you're inpatient before you know it or somebody you're connected to is spirit messages you have a sonic answer Okay, so we have Stingray, Butterfly, Announcement, September, Lion, Time to Act, Book, Blossoming Abundance, number three, could be a very significant number in one's life, number three, could be a possible age of viewers, somebody you're connected to, or any other significant number in one's life, number three. Um, for some, you could be dealing with a, hold on, a water sign or a air sign. 
man that's a cool looking stingray i was looking at it um if you are another water sign if you are they can have cancer pisces scorpio or gemini libra aquarius and they're semi rising venus will send me in here jupiter charts look how cool that cool uh that card looks it's very cool um stingray For some cancers, your money is about to be hit in a huge way. For some, it's about to be. For some, decrease in business in a huge way. For some, there's about to be a huge investigation on you in a corporate entity agency energy, and you are about to be terminated. There are many series of chain events. Oh, Lord. So you plug it in how it resonates. Wow, man. Um, so money loss energy. Now, if this isn't you, you guys, it can be somebody you're connected to. You have to plug the messages in how they resonate. It could be you message or messages or message or messages could resonate with you and be you, or it can be somebody you're connected to. There's millions and millions of world, cancers in the world, millions and millions of people in the world. So if it's not the cancer I'm speaking of, that's you, it could be another cancer you're connected to possibly, or somebody, you know, okay. But there's two particular cancers, at least in the universe, that's about to experience heavy money loss. I'll tell you that. For one, it sounds like it's their business. So they have a business in some shape, form, or fashion. I feel they are the sole proprietorship or they have an LLC. Like I have a sole proprietorship for my spiritual business. But some readers have LLC. So, you know, I'm not saying it's a reader, but it's just they have a business. Uh, home or what? Well, I didn't hear home. It could be a home business for some. I didn't hear home. For some, it could be a home business, but it is a business. Like, I feel they own it or co-own it, okay? Um, whether it's an LLC or sole proprietorship, they uh, they are the business owner owners. Um, the business is about to decline in a huge way, um, however that resonates. And for one, it is, they work in a corporate entity energy. Um, very, very, very high position, high authority. Huge money launderer and thief. Oh, very, very, very high position, high authority. Huge money launderer and thief is what I heard. I heard there's about to be a huge investigation on them. And they, through many series of chain events, they will be terminated. So they're uh, a huge, they're a very high, high, high position, high authority. But they work in a corporate entity agency energy. So I'm feeling they work in corporate. I'm feeling they work in corporate or they are damn near the head of a facility, site, location, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm just being for real. However that resonates. But however that resonates, I heard there about, there's about to be a huge ass investigation on them and um, they will be terminated through many series of chain events. So Stingray energy is basically, they're about to be gotten. Got, well, that doesn't make sense. They're about to be got, basically. Um, I heard they're a money launderer and a thief. Um, so I'm surprised they don't end up in jail and the job is the only thing they lose, but I don't know. I'm not this cancer. It can be a mass or femme cancer. They could have cancer in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or no behavior, Jupiter charts. You plug it in, how it resonates. Butterfly. A younger cancer, 35 and below, is about to go through a huge metamorphosis, really about to come out of your cocoon and show the world the real you in a very positive way. It's about to benefit you in a very positive way. Know this. Wow, younger cancer. Well, you know, I can't categorize myself in the younger category anymore because I'm old woman. I'm in the older category, but you're in the younger category, whoever you are. You can be masculine or femme cancer. You can have cancer in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or femme, and hammer, Jupiter charts, if that resonates for you. But um, you're about to come out of your cocoon, baby. I feel for whoever this is for, you're shy. You're shy. And there's nothing wrong with being shy. I'm not judging you. I'm not downing you. I'm not making fun of you. Please don't ever think that, okay? I'm not. But that's the facts. You're, I think you're shy normally. You're shy and you're, I think you keep to yourself. You're shy. Like your hermit mode, but like I'm hermit mode for strategic reasons, not because I don't love to go out and have fun. 
It's because people have gang stalked my ass in the past and my kids. So I love to go out, but I ain't going to deal with bullshit either. And that's just damn true. Whoever you are, I think you're naturally shy is what I'm saying. I'm not naturally shy. And that's just damn true. But I think you are. But you're about to come out of your cocoon, my dear. And you're about to fly like a butterfly. Spread your wings. It's not, well, it is a little hairy, but it's not really hair. It's just shadow. I'm saying. Um, you're about to spread your wings. Ah, just saying. Um, for some, well, you're a cancer. You have cancer in your chart. For some, you could have air in your chart. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But however that resonates, it's really beautiful. It is, it is, it is. Spread your wings like a butterfly, my dear. I mean, this is coming out of your cocoon. It's um, coming out of your shyness, coming out of your... Um, you're, um, you know, transitioning to a different part of yourself. For some, I feel you might relocate and um, maybe move out of your hometown, experience new things, try new things, um, try uh, go and experience new cultures, travel. I mean, really, really ex experience the world. I mean, whoever you are, you're a little young buck. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. But... It's good to try new things, do new things, meet new people, come out of the shell, baby, into your butterfly wings and let them fly like an eagle into the sea. Fly like an eagle, let the spirit over me. I'm gonna fly. Just saying. That's beautiful. Bell announcement. For some, you could, I feel you might have an air sign parent, and I'm just being for real, or a water sign parent, um, possibly, or it doesn't even have to be a parent. It could be just somebody that influenced you or did influence you in a very positive way, um, or was some kind of influential part in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Um, however, that resonates and applies, okay? I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys, but I'm serious. I, I do think that. I do, but only you know your story, not anybody else. You have to plug it in how it resonates. Announcement. A cancer is about to learn of a kickback soon. And a boardroom meeting for a settlement in a city for a citizen is about to become very significant in cancer's life. Okay, I heard a cancer is about to learn of a kickback soon. Anybody doesn't know, kickbacks are basically, it's politics shit. And that's just the truth. Um, I don't get involved in that shit. Um, I have my political beliefs. That's it. Period. Point blank. Bar none. But do I associate with politicians? Hell to the just no, I don't. But for some, I feel you'd be a politician. Um, you're about to learn of a kickback, or you're about to initiate a kickback, or somebody's going to bring a kickback to you, or what it, what it, what it. If you don't know what a kickback is, please Google, please Google kickback, but it's politician as tight term. Um, for one of you guys, you might be a politician, possibly. And for one um, of you cancers, you're about to be involved with a boardroom meeting soon, involved, I heard a citizen, it sounds like in your city, or the city you are employed in, regarding a settlement for them in some shape, form, or fashion. So announcement in that aspect, I think, is the announcement of the boardroom meeting um, or boardroom session regarding this um, discussion of a possible settlement for this um, citizen. Um, I think their rights and liberties were violated, um, and I think you, you know that, um, or you're about to learn it, how that resonates. For some, it could involve, I mean, it's involving a citizen and settlement energy. So for some, I feel it could involve the police. So it might involve body cam energy for some of you guys, possibly. But only you know your story, not anybody else. You plug it in, how it resonates. September. There's about to be huge shifts in a particular cancer city soon. By September. Many people you never thought would move out of this out of this city is about to move. Many uh, and many more new energies are coming. 
For some, this is going to be very good for you. For some, it is not going to be good. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. So energy, energy shift energy, basically, in a sitting. And whoever you resonate, um, this resonates for, whatever cancer this resonates for, you're either um, or employed in this city or you live in this city or both. Now, whatever city this is and however it applies for you, okay? For some, I feel you could possibly, and I didn't hear this, but I feel for some of you cancers, you might um, reside in or uh, or employed in Washington, D.C. And I say that because of the politics energy in here with the kickback energy. I feel for some, I do, I strongly feel for some, you might reside in or you're employed in Washington, D.C. And I'm just being for real, for real. Or you are connected to somebody in Washington, D.C. How that resonates, okay? And I'm just keeping it real. Just saying. But however that resonates, um, whether you reside in Washington, D.C. or work in Washington, D.C. or what have you, um, there's about to be huge energy shifts in your city, whether you want it to or not. And they're about to, it sounds like energy shifts are about to, they're obviously going to occur, but it sounds like they're about to either complete or damn near complete by September. Now we're in June. July, August, September. So that's three months away. So like the next three months energy. Um, and that's just real. That's a quarter of a year. So a quarter of a year from now, a quarter of a year, there's about to be huge energy shifts. A lot of people moving out of the city I heard that you never thought would move. A lot of people, new, fresh new energies and people moving in. Obviously that you don't know, or maybe for some you do. But energy shift in a city, energy. Whatever city that is and how that applies for you, next th next three months energy by September of 2022. If that resonates for you, okay? Lion, time to act. An illegal case study done on a family in the past, it's about to become very significant in a cancer's life. For one cancer, they are a judge about to deliver heavy justice to a water sign energy that was in, heavily involved in this illegal case study done on this family. Violated their rights in a huge way. And this can, a cancer judge knows this. Oh, shit. So you plug it in how it resonates. A legal case study energy of a family done. Now, I did a reading yesterday on that. Um, so You can't do that. Uh, whoever did that to that family, they never got the head of household's consent. Um, and if um, they claim they did, it was forged. Like that person never consented to it. Um, they either forged the signature or they got a false forged POA on the person. How that resonates? Power of attorney for anybody doesn't know that. But the, it was never actually that person's consent that was given. Um, but yet they used an illegal voyeur camera to do a illegal case study on them and made bukus of money off them. Um, it's a water sign energy that did this. You are a cancer judge about to deliver justice to this person. It doesn't sound like you've delivered it yet, but you're about to. Um, so town to act energy, I feel is the, um, you about to act upon this, um, Water sign energy, Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy that um, did was a heavy part in this illegal case study of a family of the past. However, that resonates, Cancer Judge, Sir or Ma'am. Um, my hat's off to you. I heard you're going to deliver them heavy justice. The hammer is about to come down. The gavel. The hammer, the gavel is about to come down. Well, gavel is the thing the judge uses. Hear ye, hear ye. That's the gavel. So, and we all know what a hammer is. Um, I prefer the term gavel, just saying. Um, much more professional. So, the gavel's about to come down, Cancer Judge. You can be masculine or fem, sir, ma'am. But I think you're about you're about to really true, truly deliver true justice here, is what I'm feeling. It's not abuse of power, abuse of authority. Like, you are about to put the gavel down on this water sign. I think you're about to really make them pay for what they did in a negative way. Because... I think they either forged a signature, frauded a signature, or had somebody else fraud or forge a signature, like on a POA form or on some other kind of form. But it wasn't the head of household of the family that did it. It was either 
their forged or fraud, frauded signature or somebody else's. Um, but they never, the house, head of household never consented to the illegal case study. Um, period. Point blank. So you're about to act and deliver this water sign negative justice. Hopefully they go to jail or prison. So you're going to, time to act, I feel, is the bringing the gavel down um, as a judge is what I feel. But you plug it in how it resonates, Cancer, if that resonates for you. I'm going to pull one. Um, Kipper, um, because I do feel this water signs, I mean, they at least, I'm feeling at least jail. God, I hope they go to prison. And I'm serious. Like, they deserve prison for that. Spirit messages you have to like this. I'm serious. For some, it's an air sign, too. Through many series of chain events, an air sign is about to get involved. And they don't want to be. For some, it's an air sign, too, and through many series of chain events, um, the air sign's about to get involved, and they don't want to be. So, for some, it's a water sign. For some, it's an air sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Master, Femme. The gavel's about to come down on them. The air sign doesn't want to be involved in this, but through many series of chain events, I think the water sign's about to quack on them, and they're about to be involved whether they want to be or not. I pull great fortune. Book. A cancer is about to find a favorite magazine soon. And a cancer is about to start researching soon. Really heavy researching. Okay, I heard a cancer is about to find a favorite magazine soon. And a cancer is about to really start heavily researching soon. So doing very heavy research, if that resonates for you. Book energy, heavy research energy in that aspect. And for some, it is um, favorite magazine energy. So book energy magazine or heavy research energy blossoming abundance i mean you've got that with a great fortune A significant stolen inheritance is about to become very significant in a cancer's life. A significant stolen inheritance is about to become very significant in a cancer's life. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So for some, I feel it's your stolen inheritance. For some, it could be somebody else's. But some kind of significant stolen inheritance, significant in a cancer's life. You plug it in, how it resonates. I mean, you got blossoming abundance with the great fortune. So you have to plug it in, how it resonates. And for one cancer, you're about to find out if somebody about to get their great fortune back. And for one cancer, you're about to find out about somebody else about to get their great fortune back. So you plug it in how it resonates. That's really beautiful, man. You plug it in how it resonates. A significant large suitcase of money is about to become missing. Oh my God. I think this is the large suitcase of money. Now, do you have to plug yourself in where you fit? Energies can be reversed. So are you stealing this large suitcase of money or was it your large suitcase of money and somebody's about to steal it? Um, somebody's about to steal a large suitcase of money, whether it's you stealing this large suitcase of money or somebody stealing it from you. But the great fortune in this aspect, I feel, is the large, I mean, I feel this is like stuff to the brim suitcase of money. I don't feel this is 10,000, 10, 10 Gs in there. I don't even feel it's 50 Gs. I feel it's a hell of a lot more, like a shit, like stuff to the brim. Just for real, probably maybe unmarked bills. 
And I'm just being serious. Why is it in a freaking suitcase? Just saying. Um, but you're either the thief in this situation or you are about to be stole from. However that resonates. And this aspect is the large suitcase of money. Ew. All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day. Hope this helps. And I'm stay.